1988, Return of the Living Dead, Part 2. Only a few minutes in and it's not taking itself very seriously, which is brilliant. That is what makes it a Zom comedy movie. It's funny. This guy was in the first one. Also, the other guy, the first two people that were infected, they are they they, they died, obviously. They were zombified and they died blown up. And they're back in this one as completely different characters. I like the fact that they don't take themselves seriously. They do just reuse the same people. It's great. Um, yeah, this one, basically, armies transporting a barrel and one falls off into the river. Kids find it, open it. Ah! Yeah, brilliant. We're only a few minutes in and it's already good. So much better than the modern crap that people come out with, where you're on edge, constantly waiting for some anti-white woke statement. The last one only had one, and that was where the black guy caught somebody honky. Um, I just watched uh, James May, Our Man in Italy, and it was continuous anti-white shit. Oh, look at this statue of the man's penis cut off, or the woman's nipples cut off. But it's okay, it's white people statues, not black people statues. This is great, because there's no hidden agendas or political bollocks. Something you don't really get anymore is ratings on movies. You used to get a rating, Universal, PG, um, 13, 15, 18, etc. You don't really get it anymore because they want kids to be sexualized at a young age or anything out of America. They have white girls doing drugs, sex, whatever. And it is normal for kids to watch. This movie comes across as being more of a 15 certificate for back in the 80s because it was 1988. Um, the first one was definitely in 18 because it was like gore and tit from the word go. Okay, only the one pair of tits, but still. This one, it comes across more as a PG than anything else, really, because it's yeah, I mean, you've got the 25 year old sister about to go down in her leotard and it might look like she's only wearing a leotard, but she's actually wearing massive thick tights. Um, it's okay, it's a bit slow, but it's okay. It's nowhere near as gripping you and keeping you sat on the seat, not wanting to pause it, like the first one. But it is still very good. Rather than a sequel, this is more like a remake for children. You've got the zombies waking up, coming out of their graves. They're not very ghoulish or, you know, scary looking. Um, they're coughing as they come out because they've got dust in their mouths and... This lady is coming out of the grave and putting on her glasses and smiling. Oh, I can see now. Yeah, it's more made for kids. I think the movie is intentionally a joke, a piss take, because they've got the same people in the movie that were in the first one. Not all of them, but some of them, like the Doctor and the couple of main guys in it. It is coming across as being more of a PG-rated movie, though. You've got a little bit of gore, and that's pretty much it. It's okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. For those of you who are not 50 years and older, this scene is a direct piss take of the Michael Jackson music video called Thriller. Yes, the most notorious serial pedophile of all time. Um, I'm not sure if that's actually him. There was a rumor that he actually put on his famous red and black jacket and did it 
as a joke. And well, actually as a promotion, because he hates horror films. You know, it does like watching hardcore porn with children, though, um, in his bed. But yeah, that's um, a bit of a piss take of the thriller movie. There's a lot of people did this where everybody in Hollywood knew what he was doing. Everybody in Hollywood knew what he was like. And you got quite a few movies where they have someone dressed up like Michael Jackson and blow his brains out or shoot him in the balls. And we're not talking recently since he admitted to having fake weddings with children and watching hardcore porn with children or sharing a bed with 50 kids a night. I'm talking about 40 years ago, 30 years ago, 20 years ago. Another zombie movie, um, Dawn of the Dead, the remake, 2004-ish. There's a guy just dressed up like Michael Jackson and a zombie crowd and they sort of take pot shots at him and keep trying to kill him and they make a few comments like, you know, protecting your children of the world sort of thing. And as a lot of movies do this, where they get someone who is known, notorious for being a paedophile or sex offender, and they'll kill off a likeness in their movies. In reality, they carry on with what they're doing for decades. So um, the movie's okay. It's nearly finished. It's, it's watchable. It's only about a gig in size, so I'll keep it. It's part of a trilogy. So, yeah, movie's okay. It's not brilliant, but it's okay. The first one, I could watch again and again and again. It's that funny and well made. This one, yeah, it's okay. It's more of a piss take of itself than anything else. 